Hey, it's Joe Lyons. In this video, I want to demonstrate how easy it is to copy um, out of Excel um, and not just one cell, getting a whole range of things. And um, in my function library, which check out my previous videos on it, um, I, I have a, a couple functions there. First one, of course, is we got to get a handle to the Excel um, worksheet that we're working on. And then I'm going to say, let's see, Excel copy. So copy the clipboard. Let's say we want to copy a range of the clipboard. So first it's going to ask me for my pointer. That's just Excel because we set that in line five. Add in a comma. The range, let's say we want, um, first let's start with A1 to F1. So, so put in your quotes, A1 to F1. Um, now that's dumping it to the clipboard. So I'm going to use my little debug window, which dumps things down below here. Um, and I want I need to throw in my clipboard, right? Um, I can get rid of this pause. So I'm going to save this, reload it, and run it. And notice, there it is, down and below. It copies those things. Now, it's it, it will default to tab delimited. Um, that's how things, if you ever copy and paste from Excel, it, it'll parse them with tabs. So, uh, But let's say I wanted this whole array. So I can say A1 to F8. So A1 to F8. And there, it threw it, threw it all on my clipboard for me. Super easy. I don't have to iterate over each cell um, and then store it and do something with it. Now that's it. And then of course you you could parse that um, that data as it's tab delimited. Uh, but let's say that you wanted it actually stored. You didn't want to mess with your clipboard and you wanted it thrown into a variable. So I have oops wrong thing to comment out. Um, so I have another one. So Excel copy to var. So this will copy it. So we need the pointer again. Um, again, we'll need the range. Let's go ahead and do the same as we did before. A1 to F8. Eight. Um, and now it's asking if you what do you want the delimiter. Now, the delimiter, I have the default being a pipe, so I can leave this out. And let's just save it and run it. Oh, did I save it? Oh, because I'm showing the clipboard. I'm a moron. Right, and I haven't replaced the clipboard. So oh, actually, so here, um, I need to actually define my variable. So let's just say, duh, since I, obviously I'm a dope. Um, and duh, we're gonna dump in there. Now when we do it, there we go. So um, notice there's a couple problems, is it, but if this is what you want, right? It's, it didn't, it, del it, del it removed every um, break and then put in the pipe. Um, let's do a small, the problem is of course, we would want a line break here. So um, we would have to think through, have to restructure that if I actually wanted to grab the array and it, and it parsed out that way. But um, if we were just getting a straight row, right, this was, if this was one, then this would be great. Because um, I can easily change what delimiter uh, I want to have in here. So I would go here, add a comma, and let's say I want a comma delimited. Um, and so it would put them in commas. If I wanted it to be, um, X is, it doesn't matter, right? I don't think it matters. Oh, I didn't save it. So it'll, it'll insert that in between each one. Um, yeah, I'd have to think through, I don't normally use this, but, um, if I wanted an array, I'd have to somehow detect I moved to the next line. No, even then I'm not sure how we would do that. But, um, anyway, I hope that helps. It's, uh, especially just copying to the clipboard. It's pretty easy. And then doing whatever you want with it after you get it out is, is super easy. But the point is like, you don't have to go cell by cell, right? Actually, let's, let's show what this looks like. My function looks like, um, so it just, you basically, this is it right here, right? And you say, get the active sheet, the range, we push in the range and then just say copy and it will copy it to the clipboard. It's that simple. My second one, this is where I actually do use a for loop and I iterate over it. Um, and then once it's done, it returns back. I get rid of the last one, but I return back data. And that that's when you have to set it to equals and you can set it to whatever you want. So hope that helps. Cheers.